Power Channel Storm Rider, the 2026 BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 Destroyer stands as one of the most advanced and formidable surface combatants in the Philippine Navy's modern history. Representing a massive leap in naval capabilities, this warship is a symbol of how far the Philippines has come in maritime defense technology. The ship, named after General Antonio Luna, a revolutionary hero known for discipline, intelligence, and strategic brilliance, perfectly reflects those same qualities through its design, performance, and operational capability. The 2026 iteration of the BRP Antonio Luna is not just an upgrade, it's a complete modernization of the country's naval doctrine, setting new standards in regional maritime defense. At first glance, the ship's sleek and angular silhouette immediately conveys stealth and power. The destroyer features an advanced hull design optimized for radar cross-section reduction, meaning it can operate in high-threat environments while remaining difficult to detect on enemy sensors. The overall design follows the principles of modern stealth architecture, with smooth surfaces, enclosed sensors, and reduced superstructure clutter. Its clean lines and dark gray coating not only give it an intimidating presence, but also help in radar absorption. The ship's displacement is around 6,000 tons, giving it the size and endurance to operate in open ocean conditions, far from the country's shores for extended periods. In terms of propulsion, the 2026 BRP Antonio Luna uses a combined diesel and gas Kodak system, offering both efficiency and speed. The ship can cruise at economical speeds using diesel engines for long-range missions while the gas turbine can push it to over 30 knots when high speed is required. This combination ensures the destroyer can cover vast distances quickly, while maintaining excellent fuel efficiency during patrol operations. The range is estimated at over 8,000 nautical miles, allowing the ship to conduct sustained deployments across the West Philippine Sea, the sulu Celebes region, and beyond. This impressive endurance is backed by advanced fuel management systems and automated engine controls that enhance operational reliability and reduce crew workload. The heart of the destroyer lies in its combat systems. The BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 is equipped with a cutting-edge combat management system CMS, that integrates data from all onboard sensors, weapons, and communication systems into a unified operational picture. This means the ship can detect, track, and engage multiple targets simultaneously, whether they are aircraft, submarines, or surface ships. The CMS can link seamlessly with allied networks, allowing real-time coordination with other naval and air assets. This interoperability is a key feature, ensuring the ship can operate alongside forces from countries like the United States, Japan, and Australia during joint exercises or real-world operations. The destroyer's primary armament includes a vertical launch system, VLS, capable of housing surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missiles. These missiles give the ship formidable strike capability, allowing it to neutralize threats well beyond the horizon. The VLS can be loaded with a mix of anti-aircraft missiles for defending against enemy aircraft and incoming projectiles, as well as anti-ship or land attack missiles for offensive operations. Complementing this are advanced torpedo launchers and an anti-submarine warfare ASW suite that includes a towed sonar array and hull-mounted sonar system. This allows the ship to detect submarines at great distances and engage them with precision. On the deck, the BRP Antonio Luna is equipped with a 76-meter main gun capable of both surface and air defense engagements. It can fire high-explosive, guided, and anti-air rounds at an impressive rate supported by a fully automated fire control system. For close-in defense, the destroyer carries a state-of-the-art close-in weapon system, CIWS, designed to intercept incoming missiles and aircraft at very short ranges. This multi-layered defense system ensures the ship can protect itself, even in high-threat environments. Additionally, it features two remote-controlled 30mm cannons and several 50 caliber machine guns for close quarters protection and asymmetric threat scenarios. One of the ship's most impressive attributes is its advanced radar and sensor suite. The BRP Antonio Luna uses a multi-function radar system capable of tracking hundreds of targets simultaneously across air and surface domains. 
This radar provides 3D tracking data, ensuring precise targeting and early threat detection. The ship also carries electro-optical tracking systems, electronic warfare sensors, and decoy launchers to detect and counter enemy radar and missile systems. Together, these systems create a defensive shield around the ship, enhancing survivability in contested waters. Another key feature of the destroyer is its aviation capability. The flight deck and enclosed hangar are designed to accommodate a naval helicopter, typically the AW-159 Wildcat or similar models. The helicopter can conduct anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and maritime surveillance missions. It is equipped with sonar, radar, and torpedoes, effectively extending the ship's operational reach beyond the horizon. The ability to launch and recover a helicopter in rough sea conditions gives the destroyer unmatched flexibility in responding to dynamic maritime threats. In terms of crew comfort and automation, the 2026 BRP Antonio Luna sets a new standard for the Philippine Navy. The ship's interior is designed with modern ergonomics, offering better living quarters, improved air conditioning systems, and noise reduction technologies. The automation level is significantly higher compared to previous generations, meaning fewer crew members are required to operate the ship effectively. This not only reduces manpower costs, but also allows the crew to focus on mission-critical tasks. The onboard command center resembles those of advanced Western navies, featuring large digital displays, integrated control stations, and adaptive lighting for enhanced situational awareness. Sustainability and operational readiness are also central to its design. The ship incorporates energy-efficient systems, water desalination units, and waste management technologies, making it more self-sufficient during long deployments. Its hull is built with corrosion-resistant materials and specialized coatings that extend service life and reduce maintenance downtime. These features make the BRP Antonio Luna not just a powerful warship, but also a cost-effective one in the long run. Perhaps the most significant aspect of the 2026 BRP Antonio Luna Destroyer is what it represents. It's more than just a naval platform. It's a declaration of the Philippines' intent to protect its maritime sovereignty and participate actively in regional security. With increased tensions in the West Philippine Sea, this ship gives the Navy the ability to project power, maintain presence, and safeguard national interests. Its participation in joint patrols, humanitarian missions, and disaster relief operations further showcases its versatility and importance beyond combat. Overall, the 2026 BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 Destroyer is a masterpiece of modern naval engineering and a powerful addition to the Philippine fleet. It combines stealth, speed, firepower, and intelligence in a balanced, highly capable platform. For a nation aiming to strengthen its maritime defenses and uphold freedom of navigation in one of the world's busiest sea lanes, the Antonio Luna stands as both guardian and symbol of national pride. Its presence will redefine how the Philippine Navy operates in the 21st century. Assertive, confident, and ready for any challenge on the open seas.